opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. B7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. B5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. Bb3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. H3 takes control of the g4 square stopping any bg4 or ng4 ideas from black. bb7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. d3 supports the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. d6 supports the e5 pawn and controls the c5 square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. Right on target. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is good. Takes back. It is good. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a great but hard to find move. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This allows the opponent to capture the checking knight. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is best. That was a truly amazing move. This threatens to win a bishop. It is brilliant. The rooks can see each other now allowing them to provide mutual defense. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This challenges the opposing rook for control of the open file. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This threatens to win a queen. It is excellent. This misses a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, 
and must now move or be captured. It is good. This protects the attack pawn. It is best. This misses an opportunity to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best.